So, Arsenal have just lost 2-1 in stoppage time at Old Trafford. Oh my God, I thought we played brilliantly today, considering the starting eleven. Um, seeing all the changes that were made, I was fearing the worst. I was thinking, oh no, not another 8-2, please. Just like go out and give everything. Just don't get embarrassed. And I'm gutted. We played really, really well considering that team that was out there today. Um, Ainsley Maitland-Niles, wow. Um, I think we've just seen why he should be starting games. Um, I've been calling for him to be in the team for a long, long time now, since, um, since late last year, since sort of October, November time. Um, he's been shipped out to left, um, left back, he's been put at right back. But we can all see that his position is central midfield. He was fantastic. For me, he was Arsenal's player, player of the, uh, the day, the man of the match. Um, another one who played really, really well, who was making his debut today, was Mavroponas. Um, superb performance. For somebody 18 years old, playing at Old Trafford for his first game for the club, I thought he was faultless. Along with Callum Chambers, I thought they were brilliant. Um, gutted, absolutely gutted that we lost that game, but let's be real, it was a free hit. Um, you know, listen, I said in my preview beforehand that it's, it's a nothing game really. Yes, it's Man United and we do want to beat them, obviously the rivalry over the years, um, but that's subsided over the last sort of decade or so because we've fallen away and in recent years they've fallen away as well. So, but it was a good game to watch. Um, both teams went for it, I think. Um, Man United had the better chances, I'd say, but barring one absolutely catastrophic error from Granite Xhaka, um, we wouldn't have been 1-0 down. We would have been going in at 1-1, but there we go. I'm not going to slag too many players off today because I thought collectively the team did really well. I thought Mkhitaryan today was brilliant, considering he's been out with an injury, to come back in, play the way he did, especially in the first half. He then continued that on into the second half. Obviously, got his goal against his former team. Um, bit gutted he didn't run around Old Trafford celebrating. If that was me, I would have been knee sliding in front of Jose. Fucking, I would have been having it. But, but it is what it is. We move on to Thursday now. Um, obviously, that's the most important game of our season. That is the only chance of us doing anything now this season. We have to go to Atletico Madrid and we have to win that game, in my opinion. Um, a draw, yes, we could get through on a 2-2, but I, I don't want to be risking that. I want us to go out there and win. And the last two games that we've played today and against Atletico the other day with a completely different starting eleven have given me hope that we can do that. Like I said, today we played really well. It wasn't the result in the end that we wanted. It's actually our worst run of away form. I think it's actually our worst away form since 1966. So make of that what you will. But... We've only got a few games left in the Premier League. If it was me, I'd be playing the team that played today for the rest of the Premier League games. And like I said, it's a free hit for the rest of the season. Give some of these kids a run out. Reese Nelson played today as well. I don't think it was one of his better games, but it gives him a run out. It was at Old Trafford. Massive stadium, big pitch, massive amount of fans in the stadium as well. 70 odd fouls in there. So it's, it's, an, experience, it's an experience thing for these kids. And we move on to Thursday. I'm not too disappointed. Like I said in my preview, if you give everything and you lose the game, you hold your hands up. It was harsh to lose in the last couple of minutes. Um, obviously, Fellaini scoring in stoppage time. Fucking hate that geezer. But it is what it is. Anyway, don't forget, leave your comments down below. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Um, share the content around as well. And don't forget, follow my Instagram and my Twitter at LeeGunner82. We move on to Thursday. I'm out of here. Laters, peeps.